I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I have a project in mind. Yeah, I have a lot of projects in mind, but this is another one that I want to do. But to get there, I need to do a couple of other things. One, I need a bushing for this grinding wheel. It won't fit on the grinder. There's all kinds of ways I can make a bushing, but I have an idea. It involves using a piece of pipe and this baggie full of bottle cap. I'm going to use this pipe and a fabricated piston to inject plastic into the bore of that grinding wheel. Then I'm going to drill it out and we'll see how it works. Now to cobble all this together, I'm going to do some Kentucky windage. Not really sure what the end result's going to be, but I hope that it's going to be a working process. I have to turn down the OD of this thing. Now it's more than likely going to leak. And I'm almost positive it's going to leak plastic around that piston. I say this is about as close a bet as I'm ever going to get. Even with that though, I should be able to make the thing work. It's gonna take a lot of cutting and fitting. Okay, now we have a piston. I'm just going to use this as a vise to hold the rod while I do the cutting. Not important that I have it perfectly turned piston rod on this thing. We're getting close to the point where we're going to try this. What I'm doing here is making a valve, a seat for the bottom of the cylinder. It's going to let me pour the stuff in there and it won't pour out the nozzle at the bottom. I'm sure I could come up with a better way of doing it, but this will work for now. Oh, that's going to be great. Now, I'm going to fill up this tube with dust. Little chips of plastic. Hopefully, this is going to function. I know I can heat it up. I know I can melt it. I've done enough experiments to know that the plastic will flow. Just not sure about the injection method. This 
drill press might not have enough strength to withstand the pressure. We'll have to see. I got more than enough plastic in there. Now I'm going to use this just to keep the nozzle out of the hole so that I don't just end up having the nozzle go down inside the tube. This is just a basically a, a support for the nozzle so that this goes flush down to the top of that grinding wheel there. close to a good fit.
can see plastic squirting out the bottom. So either have the thing full, or else I just got a totally bad seal. Perfectly formed bushing. Now I can chuck that up in the lathe and bore that out. That is very nice. Now if I take this out of here before it sets up. Yeah, I still got plastic down in the bottom of the setup. And I'm gonna get it off of this piston so that it doesn't glom up the works. I think a better seal around my piston, perhaps a longer piston, so I had more of a uh, sealing point. And the, the end of this pipe is neck down just a bit. When they threaded it, it compressed and rolled the end of that pipe down, so my seal around the piston is not as tight as I would like. Well, it's not a perfect system, and I had to kind of glom things up a little bit to make it happen, but it worked. It filled that just perfectly. Now I think if I put an arbor in there, I could have injected the plastic around the arbor and then had a, a bore build up right inside my grinding wheel. But I, I'm sure I can drill this out by chucking it up in the lathe and uh, boring that center out. The other thing I need to do is I need to make a better piston. This was a trial just to see if it worked. Some old uh, pipe fittings and piece of threaded rod and a couple of nuts and a washer. But I was able to melt the plastic bottle caps by heating it with a torch. I think if I had a way to control the temperature it would be better. I know I have a way to control the temperature. Hundreds of ways to control the temperature. But I just need to be able to control the temperature a little bit better. As it was, I just watched until it started to melt, which is a really good indicator because what I wanted to do is find out what temperature it melted at and then I wanted to inject it just that temperature. So by bringing it up slowly, I was able to get it to the point where it flowed. I'm very happy. If you have any suggestions for a new video or better ways to make this work, I'm sure there's, this is gonna be a lot of fun. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.